Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at 9-11 hijacker Salam El Hazmi who participated in the hijacking of American Airlines Flight 77 along with his brother Nawaf Al Hazmi, with the duo becoming one of three sets of brothers who participated as 9-11 hijackers. Again, this series isn't intended to undermine the horrors of 9-11 or in some way immortalise the cowards that are the hijackers. We merely intend to understand who these individuals are and what led them to take the lives of 2,996 innocent strangers and change the shape of the planet forever. But if anyone is offended, please feel free to leave a comment and I will cease the series. American Airlines Flight 77 was a Boeing 757-223 registration N644AA departing from Washington Dallas International Airport at 8.20am bound for Los Angeles, California with the plane hijacked at 8.51am and the plane hitting the Pentagon killing all 64 individuals on board including the five hijackers as well as 125 people in the Pentagon and injuring 106 people in the Pentagon. Of all of the hijackers, Salem Al Hazmi was the youngest of the 9-11 hijackers and ironically at 20 not old enough to drink or vote in the United States of America. He was born on the 2nd of February 1981 to Muhammad Salim Al Hazmi, a grocer in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. He had two brothers, one fellow 9-11 hijacker Nawaf Al Hazmi as well as another older brother who became a police chief in Jizan, a port city in the capital city of the Jizan region in the southwest of Saudi Arabia. His father would later describe describe Al Hazmi as a quarrelsome and problematic teenager, including drinking alcohol, which is bad in Saudi Arabia, under Saudi Arabian law, as well as engaging in petty theft, the nature of which was never identified. He was also unconcerned with religion. However, the 9-11 Commission report noted that Al Hazmi changed approximately three months before he disappeared from his native Saudi Arabia and began attending the mosque. At the end of 1995, Al Hazmi, by this stage aged just 15, went to Afghanistan along with Khalid Al Midar and his brother Nawaf Al Hazmi with Al Midar, a fellow American Airlines Flight 77 hijacker. There they partook in the Afghan Civil War, which lasted between the 27th of September 1996 and the 7th of October 2001 and took place between the Islamic State of Afghanistan and the Taliban. There the trio joined Al Qaeda. The duo also fought in Chechnya during the Second Chechen War between Mavagasya and the Chechen Republic of Ichkeria, with the major combat phase taking place between the 7th of August 1999 and the 30th of April 2000. By 1999, US intelligence realized that Al Hazmi was involved in Al Qaeda, but he was not placed on any watch lists. In late 1999, it was decided that Al Hazmi, along with his older brother, would participate in the 9 11 terrorist attacks by Al Qaeda, and he was designated the name Bilal during training. It was alleged by the National Commission on Terrorist Attacks upon the United States of America that his older brother recommended him for participation and simultaneously implored Osama bin Laden to allow for his brother to participate. It is speculated that along with his brother Al Hazmi travelled to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on the 5th of January 2000 and stayed in the hotel room of Yazid Sufat, a Malaysian member of Jamaa Islamiyah who was arrested by Malaysian authorities in December 2001, released in 2008, detained in 2013 and sent to four years of prison before being re-arrested in December 2017 under the Prevention of Terrorism Act after Malaysian authorities found that he was recruiting fellow inmates in prison for Al Qaeda before being released from the Sempang Rangam Detention Center on the 19th of November 2019. Al Hazmi and United Airlines Flight 175 hijacker Ahmed Al Gamdi flew to Beirut, Lebanon in November 2000 on board separate flights, although what they did while in Beirut is unknown. Obtaining a B1 B2 tourist visa through the Visa Express program with Saudi citizens requiring a visa to this day to travel to the United States of America, Al Hazmi was among the last of the 9 11 hijackers to arrive in the United States of America as a designated muscle hijacker, arriving on the 29th of June 2001. In October 2001, KNS5, the local CBS affiliate of San Antonio, Texas, spoke to five witnesses who noted that in March and April 2001, Al Hazmi was seen living at the Spanish Trace Apartments, with two former residents identifying him by photographs. The apartment complex is located on the north side of San Antonio, however this evidence was not backed up by the FBI, nor was there any evidence that he entered the country before June 2001. 
Al Hazmi moved to Patterson, New Jersey, where he lived with fellow American Airlines Flight 77 hijacker Honey Hunjor. Both Hunjor and Al Hazmi applied for Virginia identity cards at the Arlington office of the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles on the 2nd of August 2001, with Al Hazmi already holding a New Jersey identity card. On the 27th of August 2001, both Al Hazmi brothers purchased tickets for American Airlines Flight 77 on Travelocity.com using Nawaf Al Hazmi's card. The duo would be seated aboard American Airlines Flight 77 in first class in seats 5E and 5F. Both gave their real names in booking the flights as the FAA were never informed that Nawaf Al Hazmi was on a terrorist watch list. Between the 2nd and 6th of September 2001, Al Hazmi worked out at Gold's Gym in Greenbelt, Maryland. On the 10th of September 2001, Al Hazmi checked into the residence inn by Marriott Herndon Reston. The hotel has since closed. It is seven miles or a 14 minute drive to Washington Dallas International Airport. Ironically, Saudi official Saleh Ibn Abdul Rahman Hussein stayed at the hotel on the same night, leading to him being questioned by the FBI. But there was no evidence that he met the hijackers or knew of the 9 11 terrorist plots. In February 2002, Hussein would become president of the affairs of the Holy Mosque's Masjid al-Haram Grand Mosque in Mecca and the Al-Masjid al-Nabawi Prophet's Mosque in Medina. On the 11th of September 2001, he arrived at Washington Dallas International Airport, checking in for American Airlines Flight 77, along with other American Airlines Flight 77 hijackers. He boarded the Boeing 757 at 7.50 a.m. through gate D-20 Sucks, seated in seat 5E, with the flight departing 10 minutes later than its scheduled 8.10 a.m. departure time at 8.20 a.m. At 8.54 a.m., the flight began to deviate from its flight path and turned south, with Honey Hunjaw setting the flight's autopilot to head back to Washington, D.C. The cockpit voice recorder was too badly damaged and charred. To retrieve any information, however, it is assumed that Hunjaw assumed control of the Boeing 757, having been the only one of the five hijackers to undergo any form of extensive flight training. At 9.29 a.m., Hunjaw disengaged the autopilot and took manual control of the plane. Five miles west-southwest of the Pentagon, the Boeing 757 made a 330-degree spiral turn clockwise, descending 2,200 feet, pointing towards the Pentagon. Advancing the throttles to full power, Hunjaw began diving towards the Pentagon. The wings clipped five street lights and the right wing struck a portable generator before smashing into the Pentagon, crashing into the western flank at 9.37 a.m. and 46 seconds. Thank you for watching, please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform yourself when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment, it helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, have an amazing day, and remember the truth is always more interesting than fuction.